Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is video number 17 and we are making school management system. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning back, welcome back. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you do. Hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Now, what we have, what we are going to do? Well, from here, from this point, all the videos are going to be interesting. I can promise you that. The reason being is, I've checked which form I have not created yet and I've made a list of it so I you know I can remember later on now this is important and the reason being is we are when we are going to create these forms particularly uh, whenever we create a data we are actually going to create data in multiple tables so that means uh, a little bit of more intensive VBA will be used and so you will get to know that from one form uh, how the information is uh, created updated in multiple uh, tables so that's why it's going to be interesting and uh, today we are going to um, as i explained we are going to work on the admissions form so how we create admission so you know let me walk you through the flow the flow is you know a student comes to a school or college or academy and express intentions that he or she would like to take admission and so not yet decided but wants to take admission so the idea is that the school academy or university whatever the entity is they have this application and they check the student's database record and if they don't have student so first they create student right and then they capture that uh, request as a admission request and so it's like a it's like um, you know capturing the lead and then you make cold calls and then you uh, pitch why your school or or university or college or academy whatever entity is is better than everyone else so student can be persuaded and can take admission and so in that case that's the flow right so that's how I made this database. So first student will be created, then admission will be created. Now when I say admission created, that does not mean that it's a final admission. That's why you see there is a button called confirm admission. And so there is a reason for confirm admission. And uh, I will explain that in a bit. So I'm going to split this video into two videos basically so today I'm going to explain you the regular stuff how to create admission and update uh, the record if we wish to do so and in the next video I'm going to explain how to confirm the admission basically admission confirmation happens as if you know when the fee is paid fee is paid and now after the fee is paid we can say uh, you know confirm the admission that the student has paid the fee and now we are going to confirm and that means the enrollment will be con confirmed in the school academy or college or whatever the entity is not only that when we say confirm admission what i want is let me go to the students table I have added by the way this a new column a registration column so once i confirm once user confirm the admission that student's registration number should be created automatically and roll number should or should also be created automatically now what kind of registration number what kind of roll number will be there let me explain you in my powerpoint slide so here we go registration number will consist of the combination of academic year class name division and student id so that's that's how the um the the registration number will look like and then the roll number class name division and student id so this is what we are going to do in next video where we will confirm the admission and as a result of that the fee will be generated fee will be collected and the student table will be actually updated with registration number and roll number as well so uh, i guess i hope that you have you have gotten what I have, uh, have explained and I thought it's very important that I should explain I must explain before I go ahead and do the VBA coding okay so I've already created 
query called admission queue why is that because i want to fetch the information from here and i want to display onto this list box now let's go to add new button and let's uh, let's put some code uh, lines behind this button which will check if uh, any of these controls are empty through an error otherwise create a record so let's go to uh, dot 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 now we are in vb editor we will say if nz me dot student id equals double quote double quote then do cmd dot b message box please choose the student okay uh, next we'll say we be critical and then the information okay we'll set the focus as well just to enhance our um, user interface so student id dot set focus now i'm going to copy that instead of just copying uh, just writing each and every line of code is essentially the same thing next i'm going to choose the as uh, check the academic year if that is empty if it is then you know what is a drill you know through the error message box next we will select we will check if the class and section are empty or not so if the class id is empty then through a error called please choose the class okay right now next we will check the section if the section is empty then also through a error message all right okay here we go if all of that is false then of course go ahead and create a record now how do we do that we use the record set and you have seen this many times now dim rs create as a record set okay all right now you come here and set rs create equals current db dot open record set princey open princey close double quote double quote and we open the record set by the way what is record set record set is just the table or the query so what is the what is the table here table we are going to use admission stage so let me copy the name of the table so i don't make any the any of the mistakes and then i go here and i say rs create dot add new and here i say rs create dot update because that's what will happen after the record is created now let's move on and let's add the little bit of vb code which will actually take the information from this form from these controls to the this particular uh, table okay and we say rs create exclamation mark admission date you know this is the first control right admission date okay so take whatever is in this uh, this text box and paste in here in the admission date okay uh, how we are going to do that now format now and then date day month year okay there we go now i'm copy that i'm going to copy that and i'm going to copy from here just to save our time so here mirror student id dot column zero then we copy this paste in here a couple of times okay and then we say academic year after the student year student id and then we say class id okay and then we say section so here i have to cbo section that's the name status okay the status will be at this stage when the admission record is created it will be considered as new and then the we'll copy this and then we have updated on here we go okay after this we want to close the record set because remember you have opened the record set in here you have to make sure that the record set is closed 
and it's very easy to do that okay so rs create dot close okay after that i want to give a message box for confirmation do cmd do cmd dot beep message box the admission record has been created successfully okay comma we be critical comma information all right and then we'll say uh what we what do we want then we want this list box to be refreshed so we'll say me dot list dot requery after that we want these text controls to be emptied so we'll say me dot admission date equals double quote double quote me dot student id equals double quote double quote me dot after student id me dot academic year equals double quote double quote me dot class id equals double quote double quote me dot cbu section equals double quote double quote me dot status equals double quote double quote me dot updated on equals double quote double quote okay that's it that's our code for the create new record let's debug no error at the moment that's great now let's go to update button and let's do the vb coding behind that now what is the main primary logic of update well we are we are going to update the records right now there will be a situation when you have hundreds and thousands of records in a table. So you have to find the correct record, which is selected by the user, and then update its respective information. And that's what we are going to do that. Okay, so we'll go to the update button, even tab, dot, dot, dot. And here, first thing we will check if nz me dot admission ID equals double quote double quote then do cmd dot b message box please choose a record to proceed further okay there you go comma may be critical and it's an information if that is false then else and end if let's close that as well if that is false then we'll uh, use the record set rs update as record set okay now we will come here and we'll say set rs update dot uh, no is equal to current db dot open a record set and what record set remember we did for create and that would be admissions t and this time we will add this db open dino set now db open dino set you will use whenever you want to modify edit update delete record okay so that's very very important now remember i was explaining this table might have hundred or thousands of records so we have to find first so that's exactly what we are going to do with VBA. So RS update dot find first. So what do we want to find? Admission ID. Okay. Equals ampersand me dot admission ID. Okay. And then we will go and up, uh, edit the record. Okay. And then RS update dot update. All right now in here you know rather than i type in here everything i'll go here and i will actually copy and i'll paste here okay because everything else remains same so only we will change few things like i'm replacing all rs create to rs update because this is updating the record that's why now in here instead of new i will say me dot status uh, that would be updated but i think everything else remains same and now we will say rs update dot close and then we have to throw a message box so you're getting what i'm trying to say and uh, so it's exactly the same thing that we are doing in here as well okay 
So instead of create it, we'll say update it successfully and we will requery the list. And then we are going to clear out the field. So I will take that code and I'll paste in here. So I will add admission ID to the list and that's it. Job done. Let's debug it. Hopefully there's no error. There's nothing. Now let's test it out. So let's close it and form view. I'll go to let's say 13 student number 13 2023 is the year class is seventh let's say section red fingers crossed the admission record has been created successfully now I have to change this message type that's why you know everything else looks good let's go and change the record type in here Oh, sorry not record type the message type we be information okay and for the update also we should change that as well otherwise we'll get the same okay that's it that was the problem now let's go and create another record let's say it's updated Let's say this time we'll create for name three. That's the student for 2023 sixth class and section yellow. There you go. Admission record has been created. We can update the record. Let's say not section yellow, but section red or section alpha. Let's update that. And there you go. It's updated. Now in the next video, remember I explained that we are going to create custom registration number and custom role number as well so stay tuned and keep watching this space anyway that's it for today i hope that you have learned something if you like whatever you've seen smash the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload any video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one